Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Massinio, President and CEO of the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce, here with another member spotlight video. And today I'm very pleased to have Michael Velotis, a realtor from Remax, joining us today. Michael, welcome to uh, the show and, and welcome as a new member of the Chamber. I know you recently joined and really uh, glad to hear about your business today. So share a little bit about what you're doing and uh, in the community. All right. So I'm now a real estate agent in Marlboro. I started in Franklin. I went to college in Franklin, so mm -hmm. my office was two minutes away. So that was the best part about it. But now I'm in Marlboro. I started doing things in the communities. I'm doing like, um, what was it? I did uh, for the Boys and Girls Club. I sponsor a team now. So I've been oh, doing awesome. that. Yeah, I've been going to those games. So that's been a good thing for me. But yeah. Nice. Nice. And so uh, what made you choose Marlboro uh, over any other community as far as getting kind of setting up shop? Well, I've lived here all my life. So mm -hmm. it's the easiest thing in my mind. I know all the streets around here. I've been here for now 23 years. So it's just an easier way to build up my community. I know everyone here mm -hmm. and everyone from going to school here, sports. So so having the connections is obviously a big, big factor. Yeah. In when I was in Franklin, I did not have that many connections. <laughs> I got some deals done, but it, it's not the same as it is here. Sure, sure. And so, um, you know, now that you're back in Marlboro, um, as far as uh, I assume you're focusing primarily on residential real estate, yep. correct? And so are there any types of uh, properties that you're generally looking to get under contract? Uh, anything, any specific area? Like, are you looking at multifamilies? Are you looking at re regular single families or, or just a combination of everything? So pretty much a combination of everything because I just started out full time in May since mm -hmm. I graduated. One thing I focused on mostly is rentals just mm -hmm. because when I was in college, it was the easiest thing for me to do. And then now since I'm out of college, me and my friend, we both got our real estate license. And we want to learn how to invest. So we look into multifamilies a lot. Oh, excellent. Try to get into that phase a little bit, but mostly rentals for me. Okay, cool. And so uh, so, so you're looking at multifamilies as a means to invest in and then obviously, you know, bring those properties out to your your, your potential customers right. and so forth. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Great. So what made you get into real estate versus any other industry? So when I was in college, I was a business major and I wanted to learn how to invest. And one of the biggest things I wanted to invest in was real estate. So I actually got an internship with the top agent in Franklin mm -hmm. and I ended up being her social media marketer and I would go on like her daily trips with her, see the everyday life of what real estate was like. And I like the aspect of I'm not just sitting at a desk 24 mm seven. -hmm. I was able to do things on the go. Like every day is not the same. And that's what really like interested me. And then I wasn't sure if I wanted to be in the space. So then the, the semester ended, I f technically finished my internship but she kept me part time so I can still do her social media. And I got to see more like in depth because now I was on break from college. So I had like a month and a half mm -hmm. to really do it like full time. And it started to pique my interest. And then I can like really learn how to invest in like, for example, the multifamilies. Yeah. Now I'm around it 24 seven. Right. I really put my mind to it. So it's easier to learn from that. So that experience really got to suck you in as far yeah. as the industry. Awesome. So, there are a lot of, uh, as you know, there are a lot of real estate agents out there and uh, a lot of different companies that uh, they work for or work with and so forth. What makes, uh, what would you say makes you unique in your approach to working with your clients? I would say, since I learned from the top agent in Franklin, I, I learned a lot of things. But one thing was my professionalism, especially when I'm out there dressed up the way I am. I see a lot when I go on these, like, when I go to the multifamilies to open houses, they're not really dressed like to the T and that's what I try to do. I'm a younger agent, so I have to look as professional as possible. So sure. They can trust me. Awesome. So I do that and my communication, I feel like I'm very approachable and it just works out for me in that way. No doubt. Yeah. So, um, you mentioned that you are uh, sponsoring one of the, the teams here in Marlboro. Yeah, correct. What other ways do you support the, the Marlboro community uh, outside of that? Well, I just been going to as many events as I can, just try to get myself around wherever it needs help. I try to put myself out there, mm -hmm. not just for the recognition, but I've been here all my life, so I might as well make the best of what I have here. Gotcha. Now, I assume your your um, your business itself is not just restricted in Marlboro. You're working right. with the uh, clients, you know, outside of the community You're in around right. this area, correct? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, what? Um, uh, tell me about what a client experiences when they reach out to you. What, what, how, how do you uh, go about, uh, you know, gaining their trust and, and you know, obviously having them, uh, you know, utilize your services for listing their property? So, most of my business, I would say about like ninety-five percent of it has come through my website or on my social media platform. Mm -hmm. 
and I constantly post things onto it, have weekly blogs, and the especially the website, I've really built it up over the past couple of months, and it has become like pretty professional as well. Nice. So you can see things in there and what I've built up so far. And I think that's what's really like catching the eye of people because it's it's just constant information going out. It's not like, like I want stuff to be personable, mm -hmm. but I want you to learn from my content as well. Excellent. So you provide a little more educational yeah. content of what, behind what you're doing. I try to keep focus. a balance of like my personal life because I don't want it to be so boring, but I want to teach you as well. Nice. Just nice. give you like the confidence. Sounds like a good way to get some get people's attention. It is. Yeah. So. There are obviously a lot of businesses in our chamber community and a lot of people, you know, as part of those businesses. When you think about the the other businesses, what are the ones that are generally good uh, referral uh, sources for you and, and ones that you could actually provide referrals for them? Uh, I would say the biggest one was actually mortgage brokers. Mm -hmm. That definitely helped me so far since I've been here. I've got a lot of mortgage brokers information, but I've also gotten a little bit of leads from them as well. Excellent. When they come. So that, that was the best in my eyes. And I like to give it out to them as well, or home inspectors. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to build my connection with home inspectors too, because I only have a few. Sure. I would like to grow that as well, and real estate attorneys as well. Excellent, excellent. Um, anybody else you can think of, or is that pretty much those three are your, your targets? Uh, that's pretty much my target. But okay. I'll think of like painters too, like stuff like within the home design, yep. stuff like that. That makes sense. Yeah, We just had a painter on our show recently. Oh, really? <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we'll have to make that connection for you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so um, anything else you want to share about uh, your business in general? Uh, or about yourself, for that matter? I just am a dedicated real estate agent. I'm newer, but a trustworthy. I'm professional in what I do. And I work in the Metro West area, so if you need help, I'm always around. Awesome. So what are the best ways for people to reach out to you? Obviously, you mentioned your website. You can share that. But any, any yeah. other uh, means of communication? So please, my please website share. is uh, michaelvelotas.remax.com, and all my social media handles are Michael V Realtor. So you can reach me out there. My number is 978-723-9477. Awesome. Well, Michael, thank you so much for being on the show today. Certainly appreciate your time and sharing your uh, your information about your, your real estate company. And hopefully you have a great deal of success as you move forward in this community and the community surrounding it. So, again, thanks and uh, thank good so luck much. to you in 2024. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. That's a wrap for today's Member Spotlight. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.